Hello there, this is Thomas Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or science-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. I heard like this snippet of an audio that I heard on TikTok. It's been a trend a long time ago, and it, it's like an argument. So I don't know if there's an argument kicking off or something happened here. But a person is basically saying that someone is unwell. Um, it's it's not nice, but I'm going to see if I can find it. The audio. Okay, I just literally heard one bit and I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to let you hear it. Did you touch my drum set? No. Nope. It's just weird because seems like someone definitely touched my drum set. Yeah, it is weird. Because I didn't touch them. Hey! Did you touch my drum set? Hey, knock it off! I know you touched my drum stick. Because the left one has a chip in it. You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Fuck you, Brennan. I know you touched my drum set, and I want to hear that dirty little mouth in it. Get out of my face, or I'm going to roundhouse your ass. Swear on your mom's life! That you didn't touch it then. I'm about to swear to shit. That's because he fucked my jumps. <laughs> that is literally. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Fuck you, Brennan. I don't know if he said you should be medicated. Like, that's literally what I heard. Okay? So I don't know if this is an argument going down between two masculines or if there is an argument going down between um, anyone, really. Um, <laughs> it's so silly. And I was like. Why, did, why is that a download? Anyways, we're going to see what this is about. <laughs> you should be medicated. Anyways, somebody here might call a person something and then they get triggered. I get that vibe. Um, might not have been as funny as that scene, but we're going to see what this is about, okay? It's giving coalition, clash of beliefs. Um, <laughs> so silly. Overall energy someone's testing another person's patience this might have nothing to do with you uh but it's here okay seven of wands yeah someone is definitely defensive <laughs> it's like something is pushing a person to be very guarded and defensive with another person okay a lot of majors here wow a lot of majors this has something to do with the per what a person believes in so there could be conflict pushing a person's resolve to stand up for what they believe in or for their desires and for what they want okay the star judgment <laughs> the emperor the moon and the lovers there has been a hidden choice so okay i'm getting it <coughs> excuse me the cough is like sitting right there i got it i got it in multiple ways okay so let's say there's something I've always wanted, right? There's a choice hidden inside of me. My spirit knows this choice to be true. This could be a career path. This could be um, a milestone I want to reach. It's been in inside of me, but it hasn't manifest in my actions or in me doing something. Okay, that's what I get with the lovers to the moon. It's like there has been a choice, an avenue, a path that has been brewing underneath the surface. Now with the emperor, that's the ability to claim, the ability to like take charge, be in a position of authority. Judgment is the call to do that. The star is, a, is destiny, is a desire. And the seven of wands is, I feel, the ability to stand up for it. An opportunity. There's an opportunity energy here for a person to make a wish a reality. But the way it's coming about, it's like they have to fight for it. It's like, do you want it bad enough? This is like a test. It's like this has been brewing inside of you for a very long time. Now you're literally being called to claim this opportunity to fight for what you want, to stand up for yourself. There could be um, an energy against this person pushing them to basically stand up for themselves. So let's say it's like, it's like, oh, this is the window of opportunity for me to push past this opposing energy. That's kind of what it's giving in that order. This is very big though, because all those majors. 
Nine Swords. This is really keeping this person up at night. This person can't sleep. <clears throat> It's almost like it was in this person suppressed deep down and it's now coming it's coming up in their thoughts and there this is someone who can't think of anything else but this desire this wish i feel like this person has been in denial of how bad they want it or how bad this is like they've denied this what did i say about suppressing it two of swords is being in denial ignoring something they can't ignore it anymore it's eating them alive <laughs> This doesn't have to be you. It could be someone connected to you. But this is like... <sighs> Somebody here could also be like into astrology. You know what I never noticed? I don't know if you guys have this original deck at home. But go look at the sheets. I don't know why it's important. You see, if you look closely... The zodiac signs are in the sheets. This is the sign of Aries. I see Leo. <laughs> I see a moon. I see Pisces. I see Gemini. I see all the zodiac signs in these little individual squares. So I don't know if someone is looking at their chart. Someone is learning about astrology. Someone is learning about spirituality. Somebody could be learning... It's like looking at the details. This is someone who's also paying attention to like the micro details of something. Something is a, a consuming this person. They can't sleep. It's consuming them. I feel like this is someone who's denied how they felt or they denied this desire for so long. Yes. The Knight of Cups is an approach. It's with emotion. This is someone who regrets maybe how they've moved about something. Maybe this is someone who regrets denying their feelings. Maybe this is someone who regrets not doing something about the way they feel. This is someone who's just like reflecting on how they moved. <laughs> this is all they think about. This person might be quite argumentative. This is someone who feels like an opportunity could be passing them by. This is like a missed opportunity card. This is also someone who's not happy right now. Who is in this energy? It's like, I'm not happy. I don't want this. I don't want... This person could be argumentative with people in their vicinity. They could read even moody right now. I don't know if there's a full moon here of significance. <sighs> Dissatisfaction. I also feel there could be people trying to make this person feel better and they're just not having it. I'm getting this energy like, are you okay? You're looking a little... Leave me alone! <laughs> Very prickly. Very, very prickly energy. This is someone who's really unhappy right now. I don't know what to say. This is part of judgment. This is part of them heeding the call. It's the, how they feel right now is increasingly obvious as to what they need to do or what they need to, to change to switch this feeling up. This is part of maybe their karma. It's I'm just getting this energy of, well, this is what's going to push you to get to some kind of resolve. Because nobody likes being here. Nobody likes being in a position where they're haunted by a missed opportunity or haunted by something that could be passing them up. It's re It reads like universal pressure. It's giving final call. Final warning, judgment is here. Okay, yeah, this is the fight. Like, they need to fight. Okay, it's like, you. how bad do you want this? I don't know what this is. The goat man, well. <laughs> something here could also be, yeah, something here could also be like pushing a person to leave behind toxic habits, to leave behind toxic people. This person feels haunted in the toxicity that either surrounds them. Like this is someone reaching their breaking point. The goat man is here and the eight of cups is here. It's like, I need to leave this, leave this behind. Leave this behavior behind. Leave this. This is someone who's so haunted. I don't know if they're literally haunted, but it's like there's such a negative energy around this person it's like it's it's almost i'm just seeing somebody turn the heat up on a stove it just reads like a hellish place or like a hellish existence and i don't want to be negative here but that's literally what it feels like they're unhappy 
they're surrounded maybe by a negative presence. There's something who feeds off of their negativity as well. And it's like, that's what's getting a flashlight shed on it here so this person can do something about it. I'm telling you, seven swords. This could be the energy of self-sabotage. This could be traits of being like a liar or lying to oneself or being avoidant. I'm also getting this energy of somebody like hiding certain things, avoiding accountability. And now it's like whatever they suppressed is in, right in front of them. It surrounds them. They can't escape from the things that they once tried to escape from. Or it doesn't serve them now having been avoidant of these problems. I don't know what this is, but this is really weird. Seven swords to the goat man. It's like they're getting judged for the deceit that they've exercised once upon a time. Whether they deceive themselves, others. This just feels like this is this person's karma to be here right now. I feel very awkward reading this. <laughs> yeah. It's making this person reflect on their choices. It's making this person reflect on themselves. I also heard the word disgust. This is someone who could be disgusted with their choices, but they needed to get here. If you don't get disgusted or fed up with your own bad behaviors, you will never change. If you choose to ignore your bad behaviors, you will never see a problem in the behavior. This is someone who's disgusted with themselves. And it's like spirit is trying to help balance this person out. Like this is how this person can alchemize this feeling to something positive. But this is someone who can't even see like the silver lining just yet because they're just consumed by the consequences of their actions or choices or lack thereof. And I really feel like this person knew what the right path was for them, but because they're so used to this behavior, this mannerism, this way of conducting themselves and their choices, it's like they ignored and suppressed that path to continue in this, just for this to be the result of what, I don't know, this just feels like a bad place. This feels like a bad place, but there's a lot of self-reflection and examination going on for the better. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who could be trying to like improve themselves. They could also be trying to distract themselves by working on day-to-day -day tasks. Three of Pentacles. This is something where a person could be working with other people. The Emperor to claim authority over maybe something new. Yeah, the star, that wish. We have Virgo, Aries, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius. This is someone who's working with other people to either improve themselves or to make this desired outcome manifest. But this person needed to get here. <laughs> There's no way in heck this person can manage and, and, and basically maintain that dream if they didn't work on these things first if they didn't see the negativity within them first. And nobody's perfect. This negativity is under judgment. So at first glance, it might look, it might look like doomsday, but this doomsday is supposed to bring out the best out of them. And I don't know how to explain that other than, it's like, it gets this ugly. I need to, I need to do something about the ugly within, side of, within me <laughs> that manifested this reality. I also feel like this person can't blame other people but themselves. So it's like, this is what I chose. This is what I chose to swim in. This is what I chose to partake in. This is what I chose to, to entertain. I've avoided something. I, I avoided the calling. I missed the opportunity. And that only then will this person really realize just how negative this this is this person could have addictions this person could have avoidance issues this person could have ego problems this person could have greed problems this person could have conducted themselves in a selfish way this person has all kinds of stuff that they've done that keep them up at night and that that defensive back and forth could be an internal thing that they're they're going through 
It's like maybe someone told them about themselves. Maybe a person sat them down and said, listen, you are part of the problem. There's no way in heck you can excuse that you are basically the, the, the heart of the problem here. You're unhappy, but you did this to yourself. Judgment. That's what's keeping this person up at night. It's because they realize they've done it to themselves. <laughs> but that's where the self-reflection happens. That's where the change actually starts. This person could be working with other people to improve their circumstances. Their finances, maybe, we're not really sure. They needed to get here. I keep hearing it. Ace of Wands, they're working on that new beginning. They're working on a different approach, I'm hearing. They're working on a different approach, yes, because it's like this baggage that they carry around. Now, the way this person operates could be a makeup of past experiences that they carry around like an unwelcomed friend. It's like they need to let it go. This is also somebody who could be trying to like start something where they lighten the load. I see, I see a monarch butterfly outside. Um, transformation. This is someone who needs to let go of stuff that don't serve them anymore, bad habits, um, certain responsibilities they can't take on right now. There's something here. This person is changing their circumstances for the better. I also feel like there are a lot of demands this person could be surrounded with. Okay. Learning more about this thing. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Crooked Queen of Swords. There, this is where the argument resides. There is a very nasty person around. This could be someone with a, with a nasty tongue that caused the tower for this person. Where did this come from? That's that, that's that opposing energy. Where did this person come from? This is someone who plays on this person. Um, maybe there's someone who disagrees with this person's new approach in life. The Queen of Swords coming up funny is a bitter Becky here. Who is this bitter person? The Wheel of Fortune. What is this bitter energy here? The world. Somebody is closing out a cycle with a person who could be angry with them for making these changes seven of cups yeah somebody is confused because they feel left out in the cold or they're in the dark about this person's choices why is this queen of swords so bitter yeah somebody here is trying to defend themselves against this person because they want to turn their back on that situation this could be a parent this could be a sibling this could be an ex this could be anybody who's disagreeable with this person making these changes This is also forcing this person to look at who they choose to entertain in their clique, in their collaborations. It's like separating the wheat from the chaff. This is a bitter person that doesn't like this individual changing for the better. I'm sorry, if you have someone in your midst who disagrees with you making improvements for yourself, they see you're hurting, they see you're stressed out, they see you're not sleeping, they see that you are in low vibration, they see that you're depressive, they see, they see, they see, and they don't want to help you elevate, they speak nasty to you instead, that's not somebody you can take with you where you're going. This person's closing out a major cycle with this negative person in being defensive this is probably where that argument resides it's like i want to close my i want to turn my back on this because quite frankly i'm disgusted with my choices my circumstances and you so <laughs> this is someone who's like eh. <laughs> stay away i'm out of here i can't deal with you anymore you're emotionally like mm -hmm. who is this bitter person this very bitter person here Something could have a lot to do with one's beliefs, okay? I have the Hierophant that flew all the way to the side. This is maybe like a person's belief systems, their traditions, their morals. Uh, maybe there's somebody here who has a different idea of what a relationship looks like. The Two of Cups speaks of love and relationships, equality and love, unconditional love between two people. The Hierophant could be a commitment. Maybe there's somebody who disagrees with an individual committing to a certain path committing to a certain person, committing to, but it's like, this is not your life. I feel like someone is ignoring that someone is really unhappy, that they're really miserable. And it's like, this person's opinion somehow dominated the scene once upon a time, but it's like, a person is really tired <laughs> of making someone else feel good and compromising themselves. 
okay? This Queen of Swords in the reverse had quite a, an opinion, a very stiff opinion about a person's um, path or what they want to commit to, okay? I get that five here because this is this is very this was so far removed from the rest of the spread the hierophant speaks of traditions commitments um a spiritual lesson here maybe about love and partnerships and this queen of swords isn't about it okay somebody here might also have a very like outdated way of thinking um, the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, somebody here wanted a lot of money. Somebody here wanted a lot of security. Somebody here wanted a lot of... It's like they wanted the end-all, be-all. Um, again, this could also be a family member who disagrees. The Ten of Pentacles speaks of family, expansion, money. I feel like somebody here had their own desires, their own selfish intentions that they are projecting onto another person. So it's like, well, I want this and I envision this for myself. And somehow that projection is what dims another person's path. But again, who is this person? Is this someone's mother? Do they play as a mother? It just feels like the like a hellish stepmom. Like this is what this feels like, a stepmother from hell, quite literally, who has their like, I'm getting also a very uppity energy. So this person might be very stuck up or full of themselves or just like very selfish. This is definitely family energy. I feel like somebody here might not feel as though a person fits the mold, okay? This is very weird. Very weird. Ten of Wands. Yes, keeping up these family expectations or the community's expectations has become so burdensome. These expectations have become so burdensome. It's like keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with, I don't know. It's so burnt, it weighs so heavy on this person to keep up with another person's expectations of what they should do, who they should be. It's quite sickening. This is someone who isn't shy about expressing their filth, to be honest. It's like, how involved must one be? They treat this adult like a child. Four of Wands, this could have something to do with a person's commitments, what they want to start a foundation they want to start this person it could be fights around money fights around stability you know it's it's blocking this person from their independence it's blocking this person from a choice that they've kept suppressed down for so long and it has a lot to do with family opinions um outdated ideologies Six of Cups, maybe one's upbringing, one's childhood. This could even be a sibling. Here with the Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. They need clarity over what the past really means for them and how the past serves them in the present and the future. Does this past way of thinking, does this upbringing, does this mentality serve me now and where I'm going? If the answer is no, cut it off. Because it's a lot of manipulation here, Five of Swords. These energies just watch this person manipulate the hell out of this person to get the upper hand, to always get a one up. And you need to see the truth in that. Someone is seeing the truth in that because they're quite tormented. For some of you, these people are miserable themselves. And it's like, well, I want them to join my misery. I don't want them to be happily somewhere else. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this energy is so ew. Let me see if I can get my Alice in Wonderland deck because what in the good heck is this? Terrible. Spirit is saying someone is in a pressure cooker to fend for themselves, to fight for what they want. It's like they're disgusted with themselves. They're disgusted with their surroundings. They're disgusted with people that they're dealing with. They're disgusted, disgusted, disgusted. That disgust and maybe even a hint of anger is supposed to result in you changing these circumstances. There's a lot of frustration here. It's like the boiling pot is at its peak now and i feel like somebody needs to learn to detach from these people <laughs> long enough to make informed decisions that benefit them damn selves i want to be a queen starting your sovereignty declaring freedom passing a test wanting to be a king or queen wanting to put yourself up there this is a test declaring freedom freedom from this energy all must have prizes, trying to please everyone. This is a people pleaser, okay? Like, I, I get this really weird energy of a combination of someone who they took on more than they could chew. 
there's a reason for that. It's like a mix of people pleasing and a mix of poor habits. And I just feel like somebody's disgusted with their life right now. And you can get to that place. It doesn't have to be that forever, but you need to make decisions that can bring about changes that you want to see. Because I feel like someone has suppressed a decision that they want to see manifest for themselves to please other people. Okay, or to please the habits or the codependencies they have within themselves or both. Okay, <laughs> and look at this dodo bird. It's like this is someone who's close to this person, but the, the, the dodo birds, especially in the movie Ice Age, they all fend for themselves. I, I can't get that scene out of my head where the dodo birds were stomping on each other, kicking each other, pushing each other aside, their own breed, their own kind will literally shove each other off a cliff just to get the last melon, right? It's a scene where these dodo birds, this breed of birds, they all fight each other <laughs> to get the last melon. That's what I'm seeing here. These people are fending for themselves. You need to do the same because they will literally step on you, drown you to make it where they need to be. And it's time for you to stand up for yourself so that you don't drown and sulk and be ridden with anxiety in the process of them making themselves happy. If you don't stand up for yourself, who will? These people are doing it for themselves. All must have prizes. It's like you're constantly giving to these people. Are you constantly like suppressed? It's, it's yeah, I split the deck on forget who you are. Forget who you thought you had to be for these people. It's like they don't care about you being here. Like, roughly put, they don't. This Queen of Swords doesn't care. If anything, maybe this is this person's words haunting you. They don't care about your miserable state. Do you care about your miserable state? Not enough if you're just sitting there. This is going to be a triggering reading. I know I'm triggering somebody. Forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. I said it too. Your conditioning needs to fall away. Does your past, does your upbringing, does your childhood and, and what you were taught serve you in the now? If this is what it looks like, it's not serving you right now. It's not. You're not even sleeping. And something plagues you. A choice you needed to make a long time ago plagues you. The missed opportunity plagues you. The devil is winning <laughs> if it plagues you this much and you're not doing anything about it. Do something about it. <laughs> That's all I can say here. Okay, tough love is still love. All right? It's like break free of what this person wants to make you believe about what's right from wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't know this person was your size. Okay? This person's probably a shoe size 5. And you have a size 10, 13, 8, 8 and a half. And this person is like... They're not, they're not walking in your shoes. They don't have your foot size. <laughs> I don't know why that's relevant, but it's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We don't have time for that. These people need to get a grip. They're only doing this to benefit themselves. And I feel like I'm not going to say stuff that you don't already know, okay? They're fending for themselves. Dodo birds. <laughs> okay, a lot of dodo birds here. And they know they can use you. They're preying on your kindness, too. They're preying on maybe your addictions. They're preying on you, you being oblivious to their true intentions. I know that there is no greater goal than to love success. Your ideology of what success looks like. What is success for you? Being able to give to everybody else but yourself. What is success for you? Reaching that milestone in your business or in your work. What is success for you? Having love in your life. What is success to you? These people's idea of success somehow benefits them if their idea for success in your life benefits them. It's like, well, you should be striving for this. Because it benefits them. You should be doing that. That's what will make you look successful. I'm hearing the word Roger. I don't know where the heck that came from. And it's like, ooh. But it benefits them. It doesn't benefit you. 
truly. Because if you really dive deep, you have an idea of what success is for you. Maybe success is peace. Maybe success is living in the mountains with the love of your life. Maybe success is, I don't know, being able to travel the world. Maybe success is getting a PhD in something that you love. Your idea of success is different from this person's idea of success. And their only idea of success for you is because it benefits them. Make it click. <laughs> this is a very specific reading for somebody here who has been trying to like be successful in the eyes of another person. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is a lot of adversity. These adversities will come to an end because these people, it's like maybe they're envious if you're of service to other people but them. Okay, I have envy and service in the reverse. They don't want you to be of service to yourself or maybe in some kind of an endeavor that would help others, okay? Very selfish energy, death. I'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. These people are challenging your resolve to fend for yourself. Damn. I'll be the last, y'all. It's like... Mm. Be your own first priority. You're not. Not yet. It's like this is a this is a girl who is drawing her idea of a beautiful foundation. You need to be intentional about what you want to manifest. For some of you, this is a dream house, this is a dream foundation. That's that four of wands you want to materialize. You won't get there if you don't prioritize yourself right now. Okay? You won't. it's like that's the first order of business make yourself a priority because if you neglect yourself right and you give in to your addictions and sometimes people pleasing can be an addiction too because it's like wow i validate my existence by helping everybody else but myself i feel good because it makes me feel good about me i'm valuable here because people are happy that i'm giving to them hello <laughs> that's what they're using against you it's like, I can manipulate this person by praising them for doing a great job as long as it benefits me. That's what their success should be. Uh -huh. See through the fog, okay? Be your first priority. And if, it, if you really do feel the need to help somebody, great. But these people are codependent. And it, it feeds your codependency too. For some of you, you need to forgive yourself, forgive others. There's something here you need to let go of. It might block you otherwise. Some kind of completion here. There's a missed opportunity somebody definitely feels. I feel it. This is not everybody's reading. Maybe somebody here, maybe you want somebody's forgiveness as well. This is a learning curve, okay? This is a learning curve. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. I might do another reading, okay? This is intense. Whoever this is, they don't want to see you move forward because it doesn't benefit them. To see you move forward. This person is going to message you. This person might contact you. This person might come up with a brilliant idea. <laughs> we have the emperor. That's where you need to that's where you need to put your foot on this person and break free. This is someone who's going to contact you. So the person who's trying to keep you where you're at is going to contact you. They're going to suggest something for you. But all their suggestions lead back to how it benefits themselves. And that's where you need to put your foot on this one's neck here. <laughs> you think I'm playing? Uh-uh. Put your foot on this dodo bird's neck. You need your freedom. You need to break free. You need your independence. I can't make it up. Nine of Pentacles is independence, freedom. The Fool is a new beginning. The Emperor is claiming authority over your life. Being in the position to build your empires. This is someone who wants to come in with a message, a bright idea. And that's when you have the opportunity to put your foot on their neck and tell them no. Or tell them, you know what, let me get back to you. I'm going to focus on me right now. Whoever this is, they have had a grip on you for a minute. And they play on your past. We have the Empress, the Two of Pentacles. For some of you, you have been juggling between this person and someone else, an Empress. Yeah, I would choose an Empress over a Queen of Swords in the reverse any day. 
for some of you this somebody here could have like maternal energy a more nurturing energy it's like oh should i deal with this person or should i deal with a more nurturing energy that can help me grow i can expand with it's it's a no-brainer bud it's a no-brainer <laughs> Why would I deal with somebody who makes me feel small so that I continuously give to them or who manipulates me so that I continuously give, for, give to them versus someone who I can grow, expand with and reciprocate their energy in a positive way? You've been in your mind about something here and it's a no-brainer. Four of Wands. This is all about how you choose to have this new foundation come in. Yeah, you want success. Again, what does success mean for you? Define that. Write it out. Create a vision board. I don't know. Write out what your success looks like and make steps towards that idea of success irrespective of what other people want you to believe success is for you. Only they will know what success means to them. But why are they like, jumping in your lane to steer your bus towards their idea of success for you they aren't you okay you need to make that separation you need to make that distinction for yourself what is success for you write it out okay prioritize that i don't know if someone here has a snake plant i see a lot of indoor plants okay that's what i have for you if this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.